Well, greetings, you absolutely gorgeous individuals. Damn, you look good today. Welcome to another video. If you leave, I'll shoot. This time, I'll be doing a review of the Demon Slayer Nizuko, the small one. And this is from a company named Bomb Presto. So here she is out of the box doing the white part of the YMCA. Number some blue quirks, new pop on the base, and a voila, a fully some masterpiece. Anyways, look at the first one. So here's a closer look at that noggin, and good lordy, it looks good. This line can be a bit hit or miss with the uh, likeness in the face, but I think it's done rather well, and I do think the more recent figures in this line have been really good. Oh, well, that's alright then! As you can see, she does look quite happy, or maybe she's asleep. You know, maybe the YMCA is a very boring dance, and uh, yeah, she fell out. Yeah. <laughs> Such a lame joke, I'm not even gonna finish it. I'm so sorry. I failed you. Stupid. There's absolutely no shading on the figure at all, it's just a flat colour, but oh eh, well, not the worst thing though, I'm not too fussed about shading on figures. Well, that's alright then! Just would've been nice, I guess, but oh well. She does have the braids in the hair, because she, uh, she's a big fan of, um, I forgot her name already, Tengen. Yeah. Which has been sculpted nicely, but it does look a little bit flat without the, uh, sort of paint detailing in there. Um, looks a little bit plasticky, but, oh eh, well. There's the back of the head, looks like a back of the head. Wow! I got some nice strands of hair detailing there, but the sculpt is a little bit on the flat side, or soft side, I should say. Uh, maybe some sharper sculpt would have looked a bit nicer, because it does look a little bit blobby, in my opinion. And moving on down, she does wear the Nezuko kimono, which has been nicely sculpted as well. It does look too large for her, because she is in a small mode. Again, don't want to sound like a broken record, but it could have used a bit of shading here and there. Uh, it does look a bit plasticky, but again, they don't shade these figures too often. But all the sculpt work has been rather nicely done, and all the paint detailing that has been applied. It's really nicely done, no paint slops at all, so lovely. Moving on down, you can see a pair of grabbers down there. And a simple black base as all these figures come with simple black bases. Although honestly, this figure could have done without the base as, you know, the whole body kind of works as a base. But unfortunately, yeah, the pegs are on her feet this time, so you can't stand her up without the base. Or well, you can technically, but it looks a bit weird. As she's got a pair of tumors growing on her foot there. But again, oh well. Anyway, let's build some size comparisons. Here we have a Gina Bubu, a Jiro, the SH figure of the Yore from Spy Family. Kung the Conk. And last but not least, the ball Makima, it's Makima Bed Ball. So overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. Uh, nice sculpt for the most part. The paint could have been a little bit better, but again, they don't do shading on these figures too often, so... Oh well. But if you like the character, if you like the series, if you like girls with braided hair doing the Y part of the YCME... What? <laughs> doing the Y part of the YMC, I don't know why it's so hard to say. Um... There's her eyes closed and a happy expression, wears a pink kimono, um, has a black base and stuff. Then dare I say this might be the perfect figure for you. But anyway, that was the video. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, one, two, and bye.